In this video, I want to show you how to install Honix operating system on your Windows 10 PC. I'm going to also show you the initial setup steps that you should take after directly installing Honix. And also, I'm going to give you an overview on how Honix works. Before we start, let me give you a very quick overview in less than a minute on how Honix works, so you have a grasp on all the components in this video. Here is how Honix connection works. Honix workstation has one NIC connected to an internal network, and Honix gateway has two NICs, one connected to the internal network, and one connected to the internet via Tor. When you browse the internet on the workstation, the request is sent to the gateway via the internal network, and then the gateway sends the request to the internet via the external NIC through the Tor network. This way, the workstation is isolated from the internet. The first step is to download Honix and VirtualBox. So open your web browser, and then key in honix.org, press enter. Let me maximize this window. And here click on Windows because we are using Windows 10 PC as a host. And here click on Honix with XFCE. And then click on Free Download. This will start downloading the latest stable Honix OVA version. And then we need to download VirtualBox. You see here that Honix is tested against certain versions of VirtualBox. This is the latest version here, so it says that it is compatible with 6.1.16 at the time of this video. So here click on Download VirtualBox, and then make sure you are downloading VirtualBox, which is the same version as the one certified here. So this is 6.1.16. Click on Windows Host, because once again we are downloading to install on Windows Host. And then VirtualBox should start downloading in a second. And this is VirtualBox downloading. And this is Honix also downloading. The download will take a while because Honix is around 2 GB. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when the download finishes. When VirtualBox finished downloading, you need to install it. So go to the Downloads folder. Here I put everything under Downloads. So here's the VirtualBox installation file downloaded, and this is a Unix OVA. First, we need to install VirtualBox, so double click on it. Let me minimize this window, and then click on Next. Here, keep everything as it is by default, then click on Next. Also click on Next here, and that's it. Click on Yes, and then Install. Click on Yes if prompted, and the installation starts. It should be very fast. Of course, it depends on the speed of your computer. And here it's telling me if I want to start VirtualBox now. So I'm going to keep it checked because I need to start it. And then I'm going to click on Finish. So VirtualBox will start. So now, once VirtualBox is started, we need to import the OVA file of Honix. Just click on Import. And then click here on this folder sign. And then go to your Downloads folder. And here you need to select Honix, and then click on Open, click on Next, keep everything by default, click on Import, click on Agree, Agree once again, and here's the import starting. And this here also depends on the speed of the hard disk and the speed of the computer. Here I have an SSD hard disk, so it will be very fast. I'm accelerating the video now. And here's the import finished. And when the import is finished, you see that you have two Hunix virtual machines. The first thing to do after the Hunix virtual machines are imported is to give the Hunix gateway virtual machine more RAM. And this is, of course, if your host machine allows it. Here, my host machine allows it. So to do this, make sure that Hunix gateway is selected. Then click on Settings. Go to System, and give it at least 2 GB of RAM. So this is 2048 MB, and then click on OK. 
Before start using Hunix, we need to perform still some configurations. So we need to open first the gateway and then update the operating system and then change the password. So let's start with the gateway. Let's start it. And here it is starting. You can wait four seconds for it to start or you can press on enter. Let me bring it to the middle. And here you need to accept the agreement. So click on understood. Click on next. Of course, feel free to read it first. Click on understood again and then click on next. And then click on finish. Here the gateway is prompting you how you want to connect to the network. We need to connect it to the Tor network. So make sure connect is selected and then click on next and then click on next. And here it is connecting to the Tor network. And then when it is connected, you get here the message connected to the Tor network. Just click on finish. So here it's continuing to connect and here it is connected and it's telling me to update the installation. So I'm going to close this message and I'm going to update the installation. To perform the update, you need to open the terminal window. So it is on the top left corner. When the terminal window opens, key in sudo apt-get space update, put the passwords for user. The initial password is change me. I'm going to show you later how to change it. Wait for the update to finish. When the update finishes, you need now to enter sudo space apt-get space dist-upgrade and hit enter. Wait for the upgrade to finish. And now when the upgrade finishes, we need to restart the gateway. So key in sudo space reboot and hit enter. The gateway will restart. After the gateway restarts, we need to start the workstation and also update the workstation and perform the initial configuration. So let's start the workstation. To start the workstation, simply click on VirtualBox and then make sure that the workstation is selected and then click on Start. Let me minimize VirtualBox. So this is the workstation started. When the workstation starts, Hunix will check for Tor connectivity. And here it is checking. Of course, you need to have the gateway open. So do not shut down the gateway before starting the workstation. So here it is connected to the network now, connected to the internet. We need to update it as we updated the gateway. So open the terminal by clicking on this icon here. And then let's update it. sudo apt get update enter the password the password for user is still change me here so i'm gonna show you later how we're gonna change the password for the user and root on both the gateway and the workstation so when you put the password change me for user hit enter and wait for it to finish and then perform this sudo apt get this upgrade hit enter and here it is finished. So now let's change the password. I'm going to start by changing the password on the workstation because we have it open. So key in sudo password root and hit enter. Choose a new strong password and retype it. And here's the password for root changed. And now we need to change the password for user. So sudo password user and here to put a strong new password and confirm it and hit enter and perform the same on the gateway. I'm going to do them very quickly here because we've already done them on the workstation. And here are the password changed. And now let me restart the workstation because we didn't restart it after updating it. So to restart it simply open the terminal window and key in sudo reboot. 
put the password for the user and hit enter. And now when it reboots, I'm going to show you how the internet will work. So this is a workstation rebooted. Let me open the browser. So click here on the menu and then click on web browser. This will open up the Tor browser. You see here the Tor icon. And this is here just for information. If you want to see it, you can, for instance, click on IP check or something else. But now I'm going to test internet connectivity. So now, of course, for internet to work, as I mentioned earlier, the gateway should be running and only access to internet from the workstation and never from the gateway. And here you see that internet connectivity is working on the workstation. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.